Hello, welcome to another episode of our blockchain series. Due to the feedback we got from some of our viewers um, about our last week episode, we have decided to talk about these few things that many of the users talked about. Cryptocurrency and how to store crypto in a decentralized wallet. Two, NFT and how to sell and buy NFT and also how to interact with NFT platforms like OpenSea. All right, on our first list, we have the cryptocurrency and how to store your crypto on a decentralized wallet. Cryptocurrency is a digital currency that can be used to buy or sell goods and services. Example, we have the Bitcoin, Ethereum, and others. So now let's talk about how to store your cryptocurrency on a digital wallet. Last week, I made mention of Metamax, and I also said something about teaching you guys how to create the wallets and also how to use it to interact with some of the platform I explained on our previous video. Metamask is a decentralized and also a digital wallet that can be um, used to store your cryptocurrency. It is available on Chrome browser and also Brave browser. It's a browser extension and also is available on mobile devices like Android and iOS. Here is a demonstration on how to set up your Metamax. I will be using Brave browser. You can choose to use um, Chrome or whatever browser that can accommodate Metamax. So on your browser, you can navigate to the Google search and type Metamax so that the, the website can show up for you to click. So I, on my browser, the first link I have here is metamax.io. Metamax.io. You click on it. Click on download. You can equally type the URL directly on your browser, but I choose to follow this process. You click on Metamax for Brave if you are using Brave, or install Metamax for Chrome if you are using Chrome, or whatever browser that you choose to. Or click on Install to take me to Chrome Web Store. Now you can see from my right hand side, you see Add to Brave and we add it to Brave extension, add to extension. Wait for it to download. Okay, our meta max is here. Get started. Import or create. We'll be using the create. Agree. Now we will ask for a password. You can choose to use any password of your choice. Accept the terms of use and create. You click next. Here yeah, is talking about the recovery phrase. You click next. And here is your 
secret recovery praise. This is very, very important. On this page, you, you, you are to secure this secret uh, phrase. Don't show it to anyone. You copy and save it on a location that only you can access. Then when you are done copying this, you click next. They are going to ask you to um, impute this thing so that to be sure if you know your recovery key and also if you have saved the recovery key. So now I'm going to be putting them one after the other according to how it was when I copied it. And that is all. Congratulations. You are done with setting up your MetaMax. When you are done with this process, you, you, your account should look like this, and you should be able to send Ethereum or any token that is under Ethereum network to this wallet. So that is all for how to set up a MetaMax. Next on my list is I'm going to teach you how to set up a profile on one of the NFT platform so that you will be able to know how to buy and sell NFT assets. We are going to be using this platform to buy our first yeah. NFT and also I'm going to show you guys how to sell it using OpenSea. On our previous video, I discussed about OpenSea. It's uh, one of the examples of NFT marketplace. So now I believe you already have Ethereum on your wallet, the wallet you created previously. As you can see mine, I have my Ethereum here, 0 0.1 Ethereum on my MetaMax. So now, on this um, platform, you can buy NFT, a name that will be minted to NFT. You can buy it with their token. If you want to buy with the token first, so first of all, use the Ethereum you transferred. You use it to buy the token. Then after that, when you are done buying, you can go back to the platform and go to register domain on register domain you should be able to buy a name that you can possibly sell later so here i'm going to buy crypto wheel okay crypto wheel is available i'm going to buy it I'm going to buy for one year so click on register after that I'm paying because I already bought their token using my Ethereum so I'm going to pay with the token because when you buy with the token you get 50% discount so I'm going to buy with their token you wait it will be loading this is the bar to be loading to register the name. Now, one good thing about this name, this name is sellable. So, crypto wheel is something that you can sell. So, whenever you want to buy a name, you make sure you, you, you buy a very unique name that you know you can resell. So, I can sell this name or I can sell a domain name and a subdomain of this domain. For example, I can put um, Trump.CryptoWheel. It's a subdomain of this domain. So Trump.CryptoWheel, I, I can put that subdomain and sell it on the NFT. We'll see all that. So right now, we are waiting for this to register. Once it's done, you, you click Request to Register.
So now, in the process of this, they will, you 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 will see a page like this that will come up. A page like this will come up, and telling you to confirm. And the fee is very high now. Gas fee. I'm seeing forty-eight. And that's not all. They will still show you another thing. Because Ethereum is um, is the gas fee is high now. Very very high. So you confirm. Okay. Once you are done with that, you can see completion. The the green bar should be up to this place for your registration to complete. So let me click on register. All right, as you can see, we are done buying the name. Once you are done, you have accepted and you paid the gas fee, you, you can set a reminder or manage the name. So now this um, approve, when you have sold the name, you can approve to transfer to another person. So we are done with this particular part. All right, when you are done, the next thing is for you to get a subdomain i made the example of example like strong dot crypto way strong dot crypto way it can be your name dot crypto way so if you want to set it subdomain you click here and put a subdomain like i said trump once you put trump automatically and you click save Mind you, you are going to pay a gas fee for that. On our previous video, for those of you that watch, you will see where I was discussing about um, someone selling um, UEFA. UEFA, I think FIFA 2021. World Cup. So this is what the person did. The person typed FIFA 2020. Two. Yes, 2022, FIFA 2022. That's what the person did. So same thing you can do here. Trump. Then you save it. They are going to charge you. So automatically this Trump Trump will now be will now be Trump dot crypto will and you can set it like that without selling the main domain. So that is that for this particular section. I believe we are done buying a unique name that we are going to sell on OpenSea. So going back to the platform for easy navigation, we'll be going back to decentralweb.org. So when you are there, you click on buy TLD NFT. Under buy TLD NFT, I already explained this part. These are names that people bought. They are selling. They are selling. These are names. They are all selling them. You can see the price. 0 0.01 0 0.01 Zero point so so now for you to be able to connect your wallet the registration part of OpenSea because you are going to be using your wallet to register so that all your NFT that's all the names you bought has already been minted so you will see it on OpenSea for you to be able to sell. You go to this place, wallet. You select the wallet you are using. For this video, we are using Metamax. So when you click on Metamax, you you confirm and connect. You see, once you are connected, 
your wallet will show just like the way we have it here all right i believe you must have um register using your wallet so the next thing now is for you to be able to see collections of your nft so you go to this place and just click on it your profile will come up then you scroll down these are names that i've already bought already there are other ones too but i will stop here so that we can focus on the recent one i bought so you click on the name you feel like selling i bought the crypto whale so i want to sell assuming i want to sell you click on it so simple you click on sell you can decide to auction it or you fix a price so if i should fix a price for this name which is an nft 30 ethereum 30 ethereum will give me 132,864.30 dollars thousand dollars so you put the duration you would like your NFT to be on the marketplace for people to be able to buy. When you are done, you click on complete listing. Once you click on this complete listing, mind you, they are going to charge you a fee. So you pay for this fee. When you are done paying that, automatically your NFT will be on the market for people to buy. And that is all. Congratulations. You are done. To wrap up this episode, I would like to discuss with you guys what the blockchain technology is doing in our um, society today. The US government are planning to see how they can regulate cryptocurrency so that banks can also hold cryptocurrency. Like I said before on my fourth video on blockchain technology, I said something about blockchain is a decentralized world internet that comes to stay and is not going anywhere just the way we have the internet you know the internet started in the 80s and today people are still using it that is how blockchain will come we we'll have no choice but to adopt blockchain technology so watch out for blockchain i will also discuss more on what and how to invest in blockchain keep on watching this series don't go anywhere because more and more is coming and don't forget to subscribe like and comment and also use the google link below to give us a feedback on what to cover next on our blockchain series thank you so much